cold outside today. As you can tell, look, you see me a little breath. Peaceful though. No, you don't really see uh don't see any mobs. That because I I would get on peaceful right. We had a little uh mini war going on here with me versus some uh, flying creeper bats and zombie heads. There's about I don't know, I shouldn't have built it next to this uh oh Turtle shell thing here. <laughs> Sorry, don't know what to call it right at the moment. Turtle shell. Anyway, should have built it next to that because that thing draws in a lot of mobs. And if it wasn't for these, I would have no house. And as you're going to see, the house is different. Remodeled the house completely. Um, that and over here on the other side of the house, I can get over here without falling in a hole. This thing, not the tree, the big tower right there. You can see it got the hole in it. Well, I, I made that hole in it, and the top of it is blowed to hell, too. But anyway, got a jetpack on, we'll go up here. It's blowed to hell, yeah, there's like tons of these up here too so I just had I had to nuke it I didn't have a choice that's a little update to what's been going on I had to undo some mods but we're up to 176 mods what we got installed right at the moment or the fort as we can call it now we got some e EM uh, EM um, these peas, what are they called? Something like that. I can't remember exactly what they are right at the moment. Pretty weak on it though. But it is. Um, got an ATM machine. I do have a villager set up. I do plan on setting up some more villagers. We'll get to that. There and there. I tried using these heaters with the temperature mod. The toughest nails mod. But they just didn't seem to help any. There's something with the wood that just didn't, it wasn't holding the heat in, like, like this thing, this brick does. But even with the brick, then I, I, it was still getting way too damn cold. We got the water in the tank spot, I turned this around, put it on the side of the tank here. Um, put a little trap door on the water holding thing here so I can fill up my, my, uh, water bottles. Oh, here. Or my glass bottle so I can have drinking water. Compactor here, RF compactor. Alright, there's the beacon. A little charge station there. Petrified fuel, RF generator there. Um, battery here. And I got a couple of compressors, furnaces, oil washing plants. Some uh, centrifuge. This is so I can put my gold in here and it will it into them gold bricks, the purified gold. These right here are the EU solar panels, which are all connected to the battery and the machine down below. There's my oh EMPs. That's what they're called. P's. I got 60 clicks, both electric and missiles. So storage. There's my flaming spikes. I said this is my little combat tower. This is reinforced. This thing will be here forever. There ain't crap that's gonna blow it up. So, yeah. So I got three floors in it. That was the first floor here. Second floor got a little weather changing controller station here. This is the top floor here. We have our radar here. Get a ladder that goes on up. Lanterns. Enter. This is my tier three launch platform with my controller get out of the snow right here um this one's my t2 controller launch pad one controller launch pad which i don't know i haven't used those two yet i've only used this one like three times and that's when i was blowing the crap out of that 
off uh, a rocket G. Or what did I just really don't want it? So we just click on it, throw a missile in there, take our coordinates, put our coordinates in, coordinates right there is set up for there. I got a lower detonation height, 60, because I'm better yet, we're going to just go to 50, go up a lot of blocks, 45, 45, yeah. And then, check our frequency, got to set on 14, boom, boom, boom. 14 And then we launch it Oh Damn Got blew out a chunk of it Damn it got real bright too didn't it 